Gu Heng traveled through parallel worlds and became Yang Mi's assistant. On the first day of employment, Gu Heng saved an elderly person who had fainted while on his way to work. When accompanying Mr. Yang to visit investors. But it was discovered that the old man was actually a big shot in the industry. In gratitude for the life.saving kindness, we invested money and provided resources, giving the green light all the way. The cooperation that was originally impossible to achieve even by kneeling down. Unexpectedly turned into a big shot chasing after feeding. The new company has set sail smoothly. I went out to buy breakfast, broke through an extramarital affair with my family, and successfully helped the boss solve the big problem. On the way to work, I was followed by a kitten. Take home delicious food and serve well, and search for the cat owner on Weibo. And the owner of the cat is actually a well.known internet author. Effortlessly secured the copyright of Three Lives and Three Generations for the company at a low price. I tied my shoelaces on the roadside and saw that the van driver had lost his wallet. Chasing all the way to return it, but unexpectedly saving the kidnapped capital daughter. Capital tycoons voluntarily give up gambling. Boss Yang became numb and said, Are you really a coy? Cooperation and capital are all voluntarily offered to you. On the first day of joining Chapter 1, I saved industry leaders. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. At 8 o'clock in the morning. Imperial Capital. Next to the Guamao subway station. Gu Heng took out his phone and prepared to scan a small yellow car. I will graduate from college in half a year. My classmates are all busy submitting resumes, conducting interviews, and running job fairs. In the past two years, with the economic downturn, it has been difficult to find a job, and finding a good job has become even more difficult. The requirements for the company I want to go to are too high. The company that can go is offering too little money. There is a saying circulating among classmates recently. After graduation, either work as a loser at home or earn a living by working. Kugu Heng, the first interview yesterday. Just sign the contract directly. A monthly salary of 15,000 yuan, five insurances and one fund, and three salaries at the end of the year. Where are you going to argue? After hearing this, my classmates were so envious that their eyes were about to bleed. But for this job, Gu Heng even asked everyone to submit resumes together. Mibao Media. It doesn't sound like a legitimate company by that name. Don't go. Don't go. What everyone doesn't know is that Mibao's honey is exactly Yang Mi's honey. Mibao Media is a new company established by Yang Mi after leaving Jiaxing Media. The company has just started, and it is time to recruit people and support the situation. This was caught up by Gu Heng. My classmates all envy Gu Heng's good luck. But here, Gu Heng has also done a serious analysis. Although I don't know if the boss is Yang Mi. But the development prospects of the company have also been evaluated. Just one day ago, no one wanted to believe him. Now there is only envy left. Today is Gu Heng's first day on the job. Because I need to accompany Yang Mi to visit industry leaders. Yesterday, before leaving, Yang Mi repeatedly reminded. Dress formally. Don't be late. Well, after getting off the subway, he'll ride the yellow bike for another 10 minutes and he'll be at the office. Just as he was scanning the code. An old man in front of me stepped down the stairs and fell. Gu Heng was about to step forward and assist. I saw someone taking a step faster than him and extending a helping hand. But in the next scene, Gu Heng couldn't help but feel perilous. The old man who fell unexpectedly hugged the young man's thigh. Hey, everyone, come and take a look. It's this young man who knocked me down. The young man saw this and wanted to withdraw quickly. But the old man refused to let go. Young man, you can't do this. If you hit someone, you want to run. Oh my. It hurts so much. A group of people immediately gathered around. 
Gu Hang looked around and found that there was surveillance footage not far away. Without any accidents, what happened just now should have been captured on camera. I helped the young man report to the police. It's not that Gu Hang meddles in his own business. But if it weren't for this young man, now it would be me who was entangled. It's a coincidence. At this moment. In the crowd, another elderly person fainted. Everyone immediately dispersed upon seeing the situation. What's going on? Is it all over or not? Has this old man formed a group to deceive people? Mom. Why are you still here? Step back, step back, step back. Don't get involved. Only Gu Hen noticed. The old man's face was pale and his lips turned purple. Fainting can be disguised. But these physical changes cannot be faked. The old man is really sick. Everyone was retreating, except for Gu Hang, who walked against the crowd and came to the old man's side. During his college years, he participated in rescue teams. I have learned some medical knowledge. While helping the elderly with first aid, I also asked the onlookers to help call an ambulance. The old man regained consciousness before the ambulance arrived. Grasping Gu Hang's hand tightly. Gu Hang saw gratitude in the old man's eyes. The onlookers have not yet emerged from the farce just now. Old man, we all saw it. It was this young man who saved you just now. You can't deceive him. Yes, you have to thank them well. As everyone was speaking, the ambulance rushed over. Gu Heng described to the medical staff the situation of the elderly person fainting, explained his basic judgment, and the first aid measures just taken. Then, he helped to transport the elderly person to an ambulance. The old man looked at Gu Heng with gratitude in his eyes. Gu Heng patted the old man and grabbed his hand, saying, Sir, I'm in a hurry to go to work so I can't take you to the hospital. As soon as he finished speaking, Gu Heng turned around and prepared to go to the company. I'm numb. It's all about saving people, how could I encounter such a difficult person? The young man in front who was falsely accused looked at Gu Heng with a desperate expression on his face. At the same time. Mibao Media. What's going on with Gu Heng? He looks quite reliable as a young man. Yesterday, he repeatedly emphasized how important this matter is today and asked him to come early, come early. Why am I here now? He doesn't even have a trace of himself. It has been four months since Yang Mi left Jiaxing. Especially in the past two months, I have not joined the production team or made any announcements. Every day, I am soliciting relationships and making appointments with investors. These investors may sound good on the surface, but when it comes to the actual investment process, no one will let go. During the past two years of economic downturn, investors have been cautious and cautious. Everyone is watching and no one wants to take that risk. Until more than half a month ago, Yang Mi received guidance from her senior sister Bing Bing. Only then did I realize that as long as the Wu group is willing to invest, regardless of the amount of funds, it will only be possible to find others. Although the founder of Wu Group, Mr. Wu, has been keeping a low profile in recent years due to health reasons. But he is still a barometer in the industry. In order to meet Mr. Wu, Yang Mi vomited twice and entrusted three or four friends before finally getting online. It took me over a week to finally get a photo of this meeting today. Mr. Wu, only give her 20 minutes. Every minute is extremely precious. You can only arrive early and never be late. But now it's time to start, Gu Heng hasn't come yet. Yang Mi is both anxious and angry. Stepping on her hateful feet, she paced back and forth in the office. Carefully selected, why did I choose such an assistant for myself? This Gu Heng, after finishing the scene today, let him go home. At this moment, Gu Heng arrived at the door of Yang Mi's office. Dong dong dong, enter. Honey, I'm here, let's. Before Gu Heng could finish speaking, Yang Mi spoke up. Didn't I tell you to accompany me to meet industry leaders today? 
How did you come? Before Gu Heng could reply, Yang Mi glanced at him and continued. Why are you still sweating profusely? You still have five minutes left, hurry up and deal with it. We'll leave at nine o'clock on time. Gu Heng reached out and touched his forehead, thinking it was because he had just rushed too quickly. Three minutes later, Gu Heng returned to Yang Mi's office. Wait for you to drive and go directly to the people's hospital. Go to the hospital. I just received a phone call. Mr. Wu has entered the hospital, and cooperation cannot be negotiated. However, it's polite. Let's go visit first. Yang Mi's tone was difficult to conceal her disappointment. Leaving Jiaxing, the company cut off most of her resources. In addition to existing fame. Everything else has to start from scratch. I thought I would finally see hope when I found the line with Mr. Wu. But in this situation, Yang Mi is afraid that she can only wait for Wu Lao Kong to recover. Yang Mi frowned all the way. Chapter 2 Good guy, you are Wu Lao's life.saving benefactor. You are listening at novelfull.audio. At this moment, inside the special care ward of the People's Hospital. Make sure to help me find the young man who saved me this morning. Near the exit of the Guamao subway station. I should be working there. He looks tall, handsome, and just in his early twenties. You can also ask the ambulance personnel who brought me to the hospital, do you remember the young man's appearance? You can spend money to have someone make a portrait. Anyway, you must find this young man. I must repay someone's kindness. Besides, this young man saved my life. The old man said, feeling scared in his heart. He also saw the scene where the old man who had fallen ahead was entangled with the young man. He knew that in that situation, no matter what the truth was. No one dares to touch anyone who faints again. If it weren't for meeting that young man, my life might have been so inexplicably lost. At this moment. Gu Hain and Yang Mi also arrived at the hospital. Even though Yang Mi was fully armed, she was still recognized by others. Gu Hain went to the triage counter to ask for directions. Yang Mi was surrounded by people. There are those who require signatures and those who require group photos. Some people are still taking photos with their phones. Gu Hain stepped forward to lift the siege and brought Yang Mi out. Leave the stunned crowd behind and rush towards the intensive care unit. Who was that man just now? He's so handsome, isn't he Yang Mi's boyfriend? So tall, so handsome, with a great figure. Does Yang Mi eat so well in her daily life? Yang Mi is such a big top tier, how could she openly bring her boyfriend out? I'm afraid it's not a newcomer signed by the company, right? No matter what, I want all the information about this little brother. Soon, the two arrived at the intensive care unit. Dong Dong Dong, please come in. Hello Mr. Wu, I just received a call from Secretary Hu, saying that you are sick. I know you have everything you need, so I brought some supplements. Gu Heng behind him handed the things he was carrying to Secretary Hu's hand. At this moment, Old Wu recognized Gu Heng at a glance. He is the person who just saved himself. Young man. Why did you come? Mr. Wu looked gratefully at Gu Heng. Difficult to conceal the excitement between words. Sir, are you Mr. Wu? How is your health now? It's not a big deal anymore. Thank you so much. Have you finished your work? I'm here to work. My name is Gu Heng and I'm Miss Mi's assistant. I only found out when I saw you that the big shot we're going to see today is you. What is the situation? Yang Mi and assistant who looked bewildered. If you don't show up, I'll have secretary who go on a carpet search. Wu Lao said, looking at Yang Mi. Yang Mi, you're a good assistant. If it weren't for him, my old life would probably be gone. After Wu finished speaking, he looked at Gu Heng again. Yang Mi still had a question mark on her face. So. What happened? Honey, it's like this. 
When I was leaving the subway this morning, I saw that Mr. Wu had fainted, and I happened to know some first aid. It's a pleasure to help others. Yang Mi finally understood. Why did Gu Heng go so late in the morning? Why are you sweating profusely again? Thinking of my morning questioning, I feel a bit guilty. Young man, should we consider changing jobs and becoming my assistant? What kind of thing? As soon as Wu Lao said this, Yang Mi, Assistant Hu, and Gu Heng were all stunned. Yang Mi. Just one day after joining, I was poached by a big shot. My assistant hired me, and I really have vision. Secretary Hu. Is there anything I didn't do well? Boss, why should I still hire an assistant? Gu Heng. Mom, I've never seen Pai falling from the sky, but I've encountered a job falling from the sky. After traveling for so long, it's the first time I've felt different from others. My golden finger, isn't it just looking for a job? Although surprised, Gu Heng didn't forget what he came for. Help Miss Me talk about investment, she is the hero of the entire company. Go to Mr. Wu's place, he is just a benefactor of Mr. Wu alone, but this kindness will always be repaid. It's better to work with Mi Jia on Mi Bao to make the company bigger and stronger. Before Yang Mi and Secretary Hu could react, Gu Heng spoke up first. Thank you for Mr. Wu's appreciation. You are an investor in our company and naturally my boss. I am working for you. Upon hearing these words, Yang Mi felt inexplicably happy. Good kid, I gave my mother a big score on the first day. Wu Lao was also amused by Gu Heng's wit. Ha, huh, you young man, it seems that I have to invest this money. Gu Heng quickly explained, No, 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 don't say that, Mr. Wu. I don't mean to be morally kidnapped. I have confidence in our company and confidence in our honey sister. Okay. That's it for the investment matter. Yang Mi, if you have any needs, just tell Xiao Hu. Xiao Hu will draft a preliminary investment plan, and you can come to my company to discuss the specifics when I am discharged. What kind of thing? The old lady begged for two months, but couldn't negotiate any investment. This kid just said a few words, will you handle it for me? This kid really has some luck on him. Yang Mi was ecstatic in her heart. Looking at Gu Heng, there was a hint of appreciation in his eyes. The first thing Yang Mi did when leaving the ward was to call the company's human resources. Explain to directly convert Gu Heng into a regular employee. Honey, is this against the rules? He just started on his first day at work. Where are there so many rules? Merit should be rewarded. In a startup, there are not so many rules and seniority rankings. Whoever can drive the development of the company will receive rewards. Moreover, it is such an important investment from Mr. Wu. This is equivalent to taking the first step for the company. Directly becoming a regular employee, Yang Mi still feels that it is far from enough. After Yang Mi hung up the phone, she looked at Gu Heng. I just performed well, and I'll give you a big red envelope once the cooperation is agreed upon. Thank you, Mississippi. I will continue to work hard. After the two returned to the company, Qin Jie directly pulled Yang Mi back to the office. Qin Jie, Yang Mi's new agent, is also her partner. Needless to say, it was to help Gu Heng become a regular employee. Are you okay? Gu Heng will accompany you to the hospital to lie down. He has not even returned yet, so he has been confirmed as a regular employee. To be honest with me, are you interested in him? I felt rushed during yesterday's interview and decided to hire directly. It's not like your style. It can be seen that Qin Jie is really a bit anxious. Without waiting for Yang Mi to speak, it was just a storm output. What's going on? Where are we going? Do you know why Mr. Wu suddenly entered the hospital? I fainted at the subway entrance this morning. Do you know how Mr. Wu was saved? It was Gu Heng who gave first aid and then sent an ambulance, that's not a big deal. You didn't see it. 
When Wu Laoyi saw Gu Hang, his eyes lit up and he said he agreed to invest in this life. Saving gesture without discussing anything. You said I shouldn't give Gu Hang a permanent job and let others poach him in a few days. The investment I received will fly away, won't it? He is now the god of wealth in our company. Is it too much for him to become a regular employee? Chapter 3 Big Boss Chasing to Feed You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chen Jie's face instantly changed when she heard that Gu Hang had taken Wu Lao. Light conversion is not enough. We need to reward well. Seeing Chen Jie's face changing speed, Yang Mi was also somewhat speechless. Just now, I was in a hurry because of my probation. Now there is a heavy reward. You belong to the chameleon, right? Chen Jie turned around and left Yang Mi's office. Walking over to Gu Hang with a smile on his face. Gu Hang, I knew we didn't choose the wrong person and continued to perform well. I have a good outlook on you. The people around were all looking confused. What kind of thing? Did you just see the right person in a short while? Didn't you just curse here? It's against the rules to become a regular employee as soon as you arrive. Saying that a man is good. Looking is also a curse for his beauty. The speed of changing faces, in just one word, is amazing. One week later, Yang Mi received the investment plan sent by Secretary Hu. Two billion. Investing in shares, only receiving dividends at the end of the year based on the shareholding ratio, without the need for guaranteed returns, without interfering with any company decisions, and without any additional conditions. For a just starting company, this is like pie falling from the sky. It far exceeded Yang Mi's expectations. She certainly knew that most of the credit was from Gu Hang. It seems that just giving a red envelope is far enough. I'm afraid I invited a lucky cat back. Early the next morning. Yang Mi took Gu Hang to the Wu group. Yang Mi doesn't have too many requirements anymore. If she can sign the contract smoothly, thank goodness. Mr. Wu, thank you very much for your trust and support in our company. I have no objection to the contract. Yang Mi's words are absolutely true. She just wanted to sign the contract as soon as possible, so as not to delay for too long and cause trouble. From the moment she received the contract, she was like dreaming. I never expected this investment to come so easily. But Mr. Wu felt that this investment was not enough to express his gratitude for Gu Heng's life. Saving kindness. Is that enough? He asked in response, What? What does Mr. Wu mean by this? Did I hear it wrong? Or did I not understand Mr. Wu's underlying lines? Or did this old man hope that I could give something extra that cannot be written on paper? Yang Mi was really stopped by this question. I completely can't understand the meaning behind Mr. Wu's words. After all, as long as investors are willing to give money, it's not bad. Who would ask you if this money is enough? I dare not dream like this, okay? Can be done in the next second. I mean, 2 billion yuan, one big production is gone. Now, the review time for this movie and TV series is uncertain, and the payment cycle is long. When it comes to projects, it's necessary to seek investment. I'm not afraid you won't be able to talk about it, I'm worried that Xiao Gu will follow you, it's too hard. No matter whether others participate in investment or not, it's always because you have money in your own hands that you have more confidence in doing things. Okay, Xiaogu, how do you think I'll add another 400 million? What kind of thing? I didn't ask for anything, did Mr. Wu voluntarily increase his investment? The amount has doubled, not to mention. Also ask him for the opinion of a newcomer to the workplace. Do big shots spend money like this? Gu Heng began to suspect that this money from Mr. Wu might not have been brought by a strong wind. But he also knew that it was a cheap delivery to his door. There is no reason to refuse. He spoke up and said, Mr. Wu, this. Seeing Gu Heng hesitating, Mr. Wu took the initiative to give him a reassuring pill. 
It's okay, Xiao Gu. Don't worry if you have anything to say. Seeing Wu Lao's honesty, Gu Heng spoke frankly. From our company's perspective, we definitely wouldn't mind having too much money, but you don't have any additional conditions, do you? As soon as she finished speaking, Yang Mi looked at Gu Heng with a shocked expression on her face. Good guy, did I hear you right? Does he still want to negotiate terms when someone delivers money to his doorstep? He Gu Heng is not afraid of tigers when he is a newborn calf, and he dare not take advantage of the big shots. But Mr. Wu across from him smiled. Ha ha ha. I didn't misread you. You kid, I won't add any additional conditions to my investment for a day at Mibao. Is that okay? Ha. Huh. You know, Gu Heng saved Mr. Wu's life. I don't know, I thought Gu Heng had something to do with Mr. Wu. Big shots chasing after giving money, I haven't heard of it, let alone seen it. Yang Mi has also opened her eyes. Besides gratitude, what else can she say at this moment? I thought this was over. After all, when I scheduled a meeting with Mr. Wu before, I could only wait for 20 minutes in a week's queue. But Mr. Wu started to care about the development of the company. Do you have any intention scripts? How many new people have been signed? What are your plans for the next two years? Do you have any potential cooperation platforms now? Is there a good film and television company with good connections? If it's before deciding to invest. Investors are asking these questions simply to determine returns. But Mr. Wu, we have already decided to give this money. Do we still have to go back on our word? Although Yang Mi had doubts in her heart, she could only answer every question seriously. After all, this contract has not been finally signed yet. For fear of one mistake, Mr. Wu refused to join. The more she answered these questions, the more Yang Mi felt heartbroken. From screenwriters, to platforms, and then to film and television companies and project investors. None of them are easy to handle. Yang Mi has also tried before. Some refused to even see her face. Some of them met and the final response was, these two years have been too difficult, we'll consider it again. Yang Mi is now hoping to sign the contract with Mr. Wu. Go back and talk under the banner of, Mr. Wu Investment. Seeing Yang Mi Yue lose confidence as she spoke, Gu Heng still spoke up, breaking the, thesis defense, style dialogue. Mr. Wu, are you asking so many questions to make us feel uneasy about taking this money or to help us solve the problem? Upon hearing Gu Heng's words, Yang Mi broke out in a cold sweat and gave him a fierce glare. Thinking to oneself. I didn't say anything, but you're getting impatient now. If you mess up the investment, let's see how I'll deal with you. Quickly interrupt Gu Heng and quickly compensate Mr. Wu. Gu Heng, what are you saying? Wu Qingzhen is sorry, the young man is not sensible and has offended me. Mr. Wu didn't care at all. Ha ha ha, where did you come from to offend me? If you want me to tell you, it's still Xiao Gu who understands me. What kind of thing? Does he understand you? Are you sure he wasn't politely scolding you? I won't beat around the bush anymore. I just want to see your future development plans and see what help I can give you. Feel free to bring up the resources you need. I'll have Xiao Hu arrange for everyone to meet and introduce them to you in the next few days, so that Gu Heng won't follow you from house to house again. Mi So. Yang Mi stood up whole. Excited to the point where even the voice began to tremble. Mr. Wu, thank you so much. This has helped our company solve a big problem. But Mr. Wu remained unusually calm. Of course, I'm not just here for you. After all, I'm also a real gold and silver investor. I can't let myself do the business I owe. Chapter 4 What exactly is the origin of this kid? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. If you want to thank me, thank Xiao Gu. I'm just repaying his life.saving kindness. Don't take Xiao Gu around begging for help lately. These guys are becoming more and more cunning. 
I'll ask Xiao Hu to release the news about my investment in you first. I'll set up a dinner party next week, and you can bring Xiao Gu over directly. However, as I mentioned earlier, platforms and film and television companies are not as easy to talk about as I am. Investment conditions are inevitably more stringent, and you need to be prepared for this. A meal, arrange for everyone in need. Or Mr. Wu personally came forward. An hour ago, it was something that Yang Mi couldn't even think of. This is not as simple as 600 million. It's like Wu Lao pulling strings and delivering the resources needed by the company directly to Yang Mi's eyes. And all of this is just to thank Gu Heng for his life. Saving kindness. On the way back to the company, Yang Mi began to care about Gu Heng. How long until graduation? Have you bought a house yet? When do you plan to buy a car? Faced with Yang Mi's series of problems, Gu Heng promptly called for a halt. Honey, honey, stop. If we keep talking, are you going to ask me if I have a partner? Why are you a top-tier female celebrity gossiping like a market lady? What kind of thing? Market auntie. Yang Mi almost didn't choke in one breath. If it were an ordinary employee who dared to talk to her like this, she might have let him leave long ago. But this person happened to be Gu Heng. Gu Heng, who just helped her secure an investment of 600 million yuan. What Mr. Wu said was quite clear. As long as Gu Heng stays in one day, the investment funds will be stable. And with Mr. Wu, this company is equivalent to having top dot level resources in the industry. Gu Heng not only cannot leave, but also needs to be well preserved. I have a vacant suite near the company. You can stay there until you buy your own house. I think you're driving this car quite smoothly, so just drive it. Speaking, Yang Mi called the company's human resources again. Hello, I'm Yang Mi starting from this month, Gu Heng's salary will be increased by 50%. Manpower was stunned for two seconds before replying. But miss me, Gu Heng only came this month. Is it a direct increase? Yes. Just adjust it directly. But miss me. Don't be so, so be so, I'll adjust it as I say. I'll go talk to Chin Jia over there. Ha! Huh. Do you have a car to drive, a house to live in, and a salary increase? What is the situation? If I remember correctly, did I just scold her a few times? Gu Heng couldn't help but ask. Honey, what's the situation? The salary increase is a bit unrealistic. Becoming a full dot time employee on the day of employment. In just over half a month, the company provided a car, a house, and a 50% increase in salary. Who can think this is true? Yang Mi thought Gu Heng was deliberately pretending to be foolish. I glanced at him and found that he had a sincere expression on his face. You have made a contribution to Mr. Wu's investment. You deserve all of this. Work hard, the company has developed well, and you are indispensable. After returning to the company, Chen Jia once again dragged Yang Mi back to the office. No, what's your situation? Is the reward for becoming a regular employee not enough? These are just a few days, with so many salary increases. What do you want other employees to think? Yang Mi should be a big deal. Oh, Sister Chen, you're a bit impatient. I went to see Mr. Wu today, and he increased the investment amount to 600 million yuan. Upon hearing, 6 billion, Chen Jia's eyes widened twice. Invest in all shares, only receive dividends at the end of the year, and don't want anything else. They also said that as long as Gu Heng stays in our company for one day, there will be no additional conditions for this investment. That's it, it's not over yet. Mr. Wu personally organized the team and introduced us to the resources. Without me saying anything, you also know that the value of these resources is not less than 600 million. What would you do if it were for you? After listening to these words, Chen Jia immediately performed another face change. Rise. Must rise. Rise well. 
When leaving Yang Mi's office, Chen Jie couldn't even close her mouth. Go out and head straight to Gu Heng's location. Xiao Gu. That's great. Feel free to ask the company if you have any needs. If you can meet them, we will try our best to meet them. What kind of thing? Has Mr. Chen just complained about it? After being so big for a while, did you change your face again? Starting from the first day of employment, I became a regular employee. Everyone has some criticisms towards Gu Heng. But just an ordinary assistant, seeing someone as important as Mr. Wu, I can still bring him along. Although everyone doesn't say it openly, they are all discussing privately about what the relationship between this handsome young man and his boss Yang Mi is. This salary increase is even more enviable. Originally, Chen Jia also had some opinions, but everyone still felt that there was someone who could come forward and uphold justice. But now, seeing Chen Jia also change her face, I feel so dissatisfied in my heart. There really is that rectum. Get up straight. Mr. Chen, Gu Heng's salary increase is too much. Why? Can he please the boss just because he is young and handsome? This statement speaks to the hearts of a group of employees. Although there is only one person speaking out. But Chen Jia saw dissatisfaction and dissatisfaction in everyone's eyes. There wasn't anything shady about it originally. Chen Jia is not afraid to respond to employees. I think the company is just too lenient. You dare to manage anything. There's nothing I can't say to everyone. As we all know, the company has just been established and requires funds and resources. Miss Me met the big shot a while ago and ran into walls everywhere. Everyone should also know about it. Why is Gu Heng being treated so well? Because when he first arrived, he took over the industry tycoon Wu Lao. Because I went to sign the contract today, Mr. Wu gave money and resources for his sake. If any of you could make such a contribution, your treatment would definitely not be worse than Gu Heng's. I put that sentence here. Everyone, cheer up. After speaking, Chen Jie turned around and left. A stunned group of employees were left behind. What? Have you taken care of Mr. Wu? Is it that industry tycoon, Mr. Wu? Give money and resources. Oh my, Wu Lao's resources, isn't that just a step toward success? Isn't he just an ordinary graduate? What exactly did it come from? You really have that good letter. Go ask Gu Heng how he handled the big shot. Gu Heng just said a faint sentence. Encountered on the way to work. What? Encounter on the way to work. Do you think I'm stupid? Can you give money and resources when you meet someone by chance? Why? Don't make any fuss. Encountered by chance. Didn't you tell the truth? Yes, please explain it carefully and let's also learn and learn. Don't keep it hidden. If you have any secrets, share them and let us contribute to the company as well. Yes, let's talk about it. Just then, Yang Mi walked over. Gu Heng ran into the fainting old man Wu and saved his family. Wu gave these resources to thank Gu Heng. Do you understand? Watching the stunned employee step on her hateful sky, she turned around and returned to the office. Hey, Gu Heng, which subway exit did you come from? Next time I pass by, please be careful. From fainting to being taken to the hospital, it didn't take much time in total. With so many people in the imperial capital in a day, it's possible to just encounter them and extend a helping hand in a timely manner. This probability. This luck is really good. Chapter 5. Cooperation Achievements. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. One week later. At Mr. Wu's dinner party. Boss Yu from Huaxia Film, Wang Brothers from Beijing, Gong Zong from Kiwi Platform, Screenwriter He Air from Beijing, and renowned agent Wang Jinghua The Funds, Platform, Script, and Network are all in place. Yang Mi has been looking for these people before. But everyone avoided it. But now, 
it is natural that Mr. Wu cannot refuse to come forward. But it's also inevitable to make murmurs in my heart. Although Yang Mi is still undoubtedly the top tier, in the eyes of capital, she is just a tool person. Now that we have left Jiaxing, most of our resources have been cut off. When it comes to earning money, it may not be as good as some popular little flowers. So, no one is optimistic about her leaving Jiaxing to establish a new company. With her alone, can she invite Mr. Wu to come forward? I don't know what unconventional means were used. Although sitting at a dining table. But these people, no one even takes Yang Mi seriously. Not to mention Gu Heng sitting next to Yang Mi. It's just a little transparent. No one even noticed his existence. Until Mr. Wu takes the seat. Thank you all for giving me this old man face. I won't compromise with you either. Today, I will set up a platform for Mibao Media. In the future, they will come knocking on me. Please take a look at my face and make it convenient. Mr. Wu is indeed a big shot in the industry. It should be a matter of seeking help from others. But what he said so confidently and confidently, everyone present was accompanied by smiling faces. After speaking, old Wu looked at Gu Heng again. Come, Xiao Gu, sit next to me. Hmm. What about someone else? Why didn't I notice just now? Who is this person? Sitting next to Mr. Wu. I thought that was Zhang Guisher's exclusive seat. As several big shots were puzzled, Mr. Wu continued. I would like to introduce a young man to you, Gu Heng. He is currently Yang Mi's assistant. If there is any place to deal with you in the future, please take good care of me as an old man. Gu. What is Gu? What's the origin of this kid? I can't see anything special about it, how could he make Mr. Wu work so hard? I haven't heard that there is such a number one relative in Wu's hometown. He can't be Wu Lao's illegitimate child, can he? Mr. Wu could tell from the expressions of these people that if he didn't say this clearly, after a meal, he wouldn't be able to tell any more stories about himself. A while ago, I was hospitalized, and everyone knows about it. In the morning, I went for a walk and fainted on the roadside. If it weren't for Gu Heng taking timely measures, my old life would probably have been explained there. Did you save Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu is well dot known, and any kindness will be greatly appreciated. This kid is probably going to reach the pinnacle of his life. Even the look in Gu Heng's eyes became different. When everyone was amazed, Gu Heng politely responded. Mr. Wu, you're being serious. In that situation, no one would care if it were changed. Xiao Gu, I don't agree with what you said. Mr. Wu spoke and described the situation for everyone that day. That's called a wonderful story. Mr. Wu is not a screenwriter, he is really a bit talented. Yang Mi was also the first to hear the complete story of the incident. After listening, everyone realized that Gu Heng was not just lucky. In the case of someone being falsely accused, a normal person's reaction is definitely better to do less than to do more. It's really rare for him to take the risk and give first aid to Mr. Wu. Don't look at it now, people have been saved. If something unexpected happens, the risk is unpredictable. This young man is truly worthy of Wu Lao's gratitude. These people here also know the direction of the wind. Following Mr. Wu's words, he began to praise Gu Heng. Ko Gu Heng knows that the purpose of coming today is to attract resources for the company. We cannot let the big shots focus their topics solely on ourselves. They say 10,000 good words to themselves at this moment, it's better to tilt the company's resources more realistically. Everyone really shouldn't praise me anymore. I think we have to find a reason for this, which is fate. It is destined that our company will cooperate with Mr. Wu, and today we will have dinner at the same table as all the big shots. I believe this also indicates that we can all cooperate happily. Upon Gu Heng's words, Yang Mi was overjoyed. Good guy, I really didn't misread anyone. Mr. Wu also spoke up, come on, let's chat while eating. 
At this point. Mibao Media. Chen Jia is both worried and anxious, there is no place to focus on work. Walking around the company gate. I don't know how the conversation went between these two people. Yang Mi, this girl, looks shrewd and has a hint of foolishness in her bones. I don't know if she will let those old guys drink too much. Hey. I don't know if Gu Heng can handle something. But since Mr. Wu is the host, there shouldn't be anyone making things difficult for them, right? I don't know who went today. Chen Jia is a straightforward person who cannot hide things. Yang Mi chose her as a partner and also liked her personality. At least not like before, being sold and still paying for the number of people. And Chen Jia's concern at this moment is also reasonable. Looking back on the days when the company was first established. Yang Mi also broke her rule of not participating in dinners to attract investment. I don't know how many times someone has drunk me. But in the end, not a single investment was negotiated. She felt heartbroken as she looked at it. I have advised Yang Mi several times, but whether the cooperation is successful or not is secondary. It is most important for her to be good. If it weren't for Gu Hang's rescue of Mr. Wu, it would have brought a turning point to the company. Qin Jia wanted to persuade Yang Mi, so she started her own studio. I really can't bear to see her work so hard and being bullied everywhere. At the same time. A meal of effort. The cooperation has basically been finalized. Afterwards, go door dot to dot door to discuss the details. Yang Mi is naturally happy when she is happy. But there is still an indescribable feeling in my heart. After working hard for four months, it's not worth a meal for a big shot. Turning his head, he saw Gu Heng beside him. Yang Mi smiled. She grew up in the film crew since childhood, and she knows how realistic this circle is. Saving someone and encountering Mr. Wu directly helped the company solve a big problem. If it weren't for her personal experience, she would never have believed this bizarre plot. When you see a TV drama with such a plot, you have to scold the screenwriter for being brainless and then switch channels. The experiences of these past few days are really magical. Farewell to all the big shots. Yang Mi and Gu Heng also got on the car. The first thing Yang Mi did when getting on the car was to call Chen Jia and share this good news. Don't be fooled by Chen Jipping's lively demeanor. When I heard this news, I was so excited on the other end of the phone that I cried. As she spoke, Yang Mi's eyes also turned a little red. Don't be fooled by the current favorable weather. Before Gu Heng came to the company, they were really too difficult. Think about it, no matter what, Gu Heng has contributed to this matter. Yang Mi took a card from her bag and handed it to Gu Heng. The probation and salary increase have already caused some dissatisfaction among other employees. I can't give you too many rewards in the company. There are 100,000 yuan in this card, and I will personally reward you. Work hard, I will also let you have more exposure to the business. Chapter 6 Jushing Panics You are listening at NovelFull.audio Soon, news of these collaborations spread through Mibao. What is the situation? Less than a month ago, Yang Mi was still begging people everywhere. Are you starting to take shape so quickly? Mr. Wu introduced resources to Yang Mi. Is that impossible? At this point. Jiaxing Media. What are you talking about? Yang Mi managed to get the capital so quickly. She also talked about Huaxia Film and Television, the Wang Brothers, and the Kiwi Platform. It was Zheng Jia who spoke. Yang Mi's former partner was also her first agent. The person who sold Yang Mi with their own hands. At this moment, she is really panicking. Initially, I left Huan Rui with Yang Mi and established Jiaxing. For the development of the company, sign a gambling agreement. Yang Mi worked alone day and night for a full three years without rest throughout the year. In order to make money, Yang Mi, who is in the rising period, is not judged by quality, 
but by income when taking on the role. In the past three years, Yang Mi has created many works, but none of them have been successful. This directly led to a decline in Yang Mi's reputation in those years. In those years, Yang Mi signed new players such as Reba, Zhang Binbin, Gao Weiguang, and Zhang Yunlong. Whenever I play my own role, I will definitely help the company's newcomers. With Yang Mi's level of hard work, anyone who looks at it feels that Jiaxing is her company. The outside world is also speculating that Yang Mi's actual shareholding in Jiaxing is definitely not as small as it appears on the surface. Xing Jia, the major shareholder in the business registration, must have helped Yang Mi hold the shares on his behalf. Over the years, the industry has also seen it this way. It wasn't until Yang Mi left Jiaxing that everyone realized it. She is a typical example of being sold and counting money for others. When Yang Mi decided to leave, Reba, Zhang Binbin, Gao Weiguang, Zhang Yunlong, the actors who Yang Mi personally brought to fame, all expressed their intention to leave together with Yang Mi. Especially Reba. I would rather break the contract than go with Yang Mi. Xing Jia certainly disagrees. These people have all left, who is giving the company new milk? Who makes a lot of money for the company? On the surface, I respect and bless you in every decision you make. In private, use these people's resources to talk to Yang Mi about things. To what extent has Zen Kanan achieved? You can tell just how difficult it was to meet the big shot when Yang Mi left. She has put in a lot of effort behind the scenes. For so many years, Yang Mi has known Zing Jiao. At this point, if she wants to start the company, there must be many difficulties. She has a reason why she has to leave. Kariba and the others are all in an upward trend. If they leave Jiaxing at this time and lose resources, it would be a pity. Yang Mi tried to persuade a few people to stay first and not act impulsively. At the same time, we have repeatedly promised to welcome new companies to join at any time when they are on the right track and can provide them with suitable resources. Zeng Jia also knew that the problem was only temporarily resolved. When Yang Mi starts working, these people will still have to leave, it's just a matter of time. What she can do is set resistance at the same time to make the time drag on longer, contacting Yang Mi's opposite family at the same time allowed her to grow slower. However, considering the current situation, it is impossible to stop the development of Mibao Media. Since capital cannot intercept the growth of the company, then we can only rely on competing with each other's families to seize resources belonging to actress Yang Mi. During the period after dinner, Yang Mi was busy working with each family to finalize the details of the cooperation. Focusing solely on the development of the company, there is no energy to consider one's own entertainment career. Just gave Zeng Jia a chance. The several dramas that Yang Mi had discussed, as well as two endorsements, all went to the hands of the opposite family. This matter made Chen Jia very angry, but she was powerless. Where is Yang Mi? She can see through it, not everything is her own, there are gains and losses, which can be considered normal. Besides, compared to the dramas that came knocking on her door, she prefers her own company to produce dramas. Find your favorite screenwriters and scripts, and play the roles you truly love. So even if the project she received flew away, her mood remained unaffected and she still took Gu Heng to discuss details and sign the contract. I have been busy for over a week. On the way back to the company after signing the last contract. Yang Mi gave Gu Heng two days off. Take a good rest these days, there are still many scripts waiting for you when you come back from vacation. What? Is there a script waiting for me? Miss, what do you mean? Yang Mi explained. Didn't I lose two TV dramas? Although Sister Chen didn't say anything, she must have been furious with her temper. I guess as soon as we return to the company, she will have to keep nagging me to get the script back. But I think it's just right. I don't want to take on those bad scenes anymore. In the past, in Jiaxing, there was no way to bet, I had to make money. Although there are also bets now, the ones that can be lost are all my own money. 
I can still make the decision on this matter. So, I just thought, let's find our own scripts, invest ourselves, and shoot a few decent TV dramas. Looking for a script. Isn't this just hitting the muzzle of the gun? Since joining assistant Yang Mi. Gu Heng studied the film and television works of this time and space. What he couldn't understand the most was, three lives, three generations, ten miles of peach blossoms. Before crossing the time and space, three lives, three lives, ten miles of peach blossoms, was the most important work that helped Yang Mi complete the gambling. However, in this time and space, three lives, three lives, ten miles of peach blossoms, has not yet been adapted into film and television. Isn't the opportunity here? Gu Heng responded with a pretense of surprise. Investing in TV dramas on your own. Thai pants are spicy. Miss, I will definitely work hard to help you find a script that has both good reputation and good performance. Still achieving good reputation and performance. This kid, I'm afraid he's not drifting, right? It seems that in the matter of finding the script later on, he still needs to hone his temperament well. Early the next morning. There was a long line at the door of a soup with pepper in Chaoyang district. Gu Heng is also among them. When he was in school, this was the shop he would come to every week. It's just that there weren't so many people before. Just as it was about to reach Gu Heng, there was a quarrel behind him. Hey! How come you cut in the queue? You young man, why are you queuing up for a while? My grandson is still waiting at home, he's in a hurry to go to school after finishing his meal. What's wrong? You're still competing with the elderly and children. Auntie, what are you saying? Now you're cutting in line here. Have you asked me if I can let you go? Have you asked the people behind me if I can let you go? A young man in line had an argument with an aunt who was trying to cut in line. Beside the young man, there is also a fully armed woman. The woman kept dragging the young man, trying to make him stop arguing. But the young man was clearly in a fit of anger and couldn't listen. At this moment, Gu Heng finished buying breakfast and wanted to come over to argue. It's not a big deal originally. One step away from each other, and that's it. But when he approaches, no matter how you look at it, the fully armed elder sister next to the young man is very familiar. Especially like Yang Mi's opposite family, Li Xiaofeng. Chapter 7 Buying breakfast and breaking through an extramarital affair with the family. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Before Gu Heng crossed the time and space, Li Xiaofeng was the new girlfriend of Yang Mi's ex-husband, Uncle Lu. After crossing over, Yang Mi lost Uncle Lu's emotional connection. Li Xiaofeng got married early and had no connection with Uncle Lu. Coincidentally, Li Xiaofeng, relying on his husband's family resources, rose to the top. Unexpectedly became Yang Mi's rival. I don't know what kind of hatred this is. And it was she who just stole Yang Mi's TV drama and endorsement. A female star and rich wife came to line up early in the morning to buy soup with pepper. Still fully armed and following a young man. It's really strange. The more strange it was, the more Gu Heng felt that he had not mistaken anyone. I also took a photo specifically and sent it to Qin Jie for confirmation. Qin Jie, is this woman Li Xiaofeng? One second before receiving the message, Qin Jie was still furious and complained about Li Xiaofeng stealing resources there. Seeing the photo, I instantly came to my senses. That's her. I recognize her even when she turns into ash. What is she doing when she's wrapped up like this? Gu Heng picked up his phone and took another photo of Li Xiaofeng and the man. Send it to Qin Jie. Qin Jie has been in the circle for so many years and is famous for her good eyesight. Especially good at seeing through relationships that cannot be said. Gu Heng, you keep up with these two and it would be best if you could take some photos that could hammer her to death. The relationship between these two people is indeed extraordinary. Upon seeing Qin Jie's message, Gu Heng immediately understood. Of course, 
He knows about Li Xiaofeng's resource grab. I just didn't expect that this opportunity to vent my anger came at my door. Gu Hengben is prepared for long dot term tracking. Who would have thought that in broad daylight, these two people would act recklessly? I only took two intersections and engaged in various intimate behaviors. As long as you're not blind, you can tell what their relationship is. Finally, we also entered the hotel together. Gu Heng didn't hesitate to follow. Gu Heng followed the two into the elevator. In order not to make people feel too obvious. Gu Heng stood in front of the two, observing them through the imaging inside the elevator door. In the next scene, Gu Hengren was numb. The moment the man raised his hand, Li Xiaofeng's hat fell off just. Dropped it. Since that's the case, then I won't hesitate. Gu Heng took advantage of the panic of the two as they were picking up hats and took a photo of Li Xiaofeng's profile. This time, it's the arrival of the Heavenly King Laozi, and this is also the stone hammer. Gu Heng got out of the elevator, immediately sent out the photo, and then took his soup with pepper that was going to cool and went straight to the company. At this point, Mibao Media. Chen Jia looked at the photo sent by Gu Heng and stomped her feet in joy. Blessed General. Blessed General. This scene happened to be seen by Yang Mi. Oh are you in such a good mood? I thought you would be in a rage today because of the resource being robbed. No, jumping is jumping, but why do I think you're in such a good mood? As Yang Mi spoke, she squinted and scrutinized Chen Jie. Chen Jie handed the photo directly to Yang Mi. Don't worry, take your time, the more you flip back, the more exciting. Really at the end, Yang Mi's mouth couldn't even close in surprise. Where did you get this photo from? Chen Jie raised her eyebrows proudly. Gu Heng sent it to me. What? Gu Heng. My assistant. No way. No way. Let me smooth it out. My assistant sent my partner photos of my opposite family and infidelity. Where did he get it from? Why did he send it to you? Chen Jie saw Yang Mi's reaction for the first time. Calm and leisurely, he told Yang Mi the entire process. Yang Mi carried a question mark with her head full. He went to buy breakfast and met Li Xiaofeng and a little fresh meat. He followed them all the way to the hotel, and they even showed their faces in front of him. Do you want it to be so outrageous? Chen Jie doesn't care at the moment whether this matter is outrageous or not. Her mind is full of how to reasonably release photos and retrieve resources. One hour later. Gu Hengdang stepped into the company gate. I saw Qin Jie looking at him with a spring breeze on her face. Have you not watched the hot search yet? Upon hearing Qin Jie's words, Gu Heng immediately took out his phone and opened Weibo. Hashtag top tier Li Xiaofeng's infidelity during marriage explodes Qin Jie has this personality, but she can't wait any longer. Immediately contacted several familiar journalists. The only requirement is not to make any previews. Get the pictures and write the copy and expose the information as soon as possible. Sister Chen, your efficiency is amazing. Gu Heng raised his thumb. But Chen Jie still feels that it's not satisfying enough. Can you tell me the details quickly? Why did you just bump into me? Gu Heng explained the process again. What's going on? They were exposed because of an older sister who cut in line. You say, this big sister, why did she stand in front of so many people when she didn't intervene? Hey! That's not right. Even if the older sister cuts in the queue, how did you get that last photo of half your face? Gu Heng saw that Qin Jie was really happy and didn't want to ruin her mood, so he continued to satisfy her desire for gossip. The hat was knocked off by them themselves. Since they showed their faces on their own, it's not appropriate for me not to take a photo. Chen Jie couldn't help but feel that all of this was too outrageous. You let me smooth it out. That is to say, when you go to buy breakfast, they line up behind you, and the man and the girl who cut in line argue. And you recognize Li Xiaofeng. 
No, you think she looks like Li Xiaofeng, so you sent me a photo to confirm. Then you followed them. Along the way, all kinds of intimate actions were captured by you without saying a word. In the end, they even took the initiative to send you a face-up photo. It's still too outrageous. How could anything make you catch up? Chen Jie couldn't help but admire the photos on her phone as she spoke. Tisk this photo is too realistic and leaves no room for explanation. Ha ha ha. At the same time. Jushing Media. Stupid. Zheng Jia saw the news and was so angry that he dropped his phone. The only card in hand, surprisingly so disappointing. In the past month, Yang Mi seems to have been cheating. Jiaxing's fortune is probably coming to an end soon. And the drama and brand sides, after confirming the truth of the matter. I decisively gave up on Li Xiaofeng. I dialed Qin Jie's phone again. In this circle, there are no permanent friends, only permanent interests. Because Qin Jie passed through Yang Mi Go ahead of schedule. She knows that TV dramas will not be accepted again. But for business endorsements, they are all fashion brands with no quality issues or sensitive topics. Why not pay for door dot to dot door gifts? Just this endorsement fee I haven't waited for Qin Jie to speak yet. The brand knew it was a mistake and automatically increased it by 10%. Gu Heng is really a lucky general. Since he joined the company, everything has been going smoothly. This kid really needs to be kept. He will be of great use in the future. Qin Jie turned around and went to explain the manpower. Gu Heng's year.end bonus has doubled. Take less. Double directly. He has been here for less than a month. On the day of employment, I became a regular employee, and then my salary increased by 50%. Now, my year.end bonus has directly doubled if I work here for a whole year, will the company have to have his surname? Chapter 8. This drama will surely catch fire. You are listening at novelfull.audio. I haven't waited for the manpower to raise doubts yet. Chen Jia added another sentence. Gu Heng helped the company solve a big problem. To celebrate, all employees will be rewarded with one month's salary this month. What? All staff rewards. What did Gu Heng do again? But no matter what he did. In the future, please ask him to do more things that benefit everyone. Colleagues have heard that Gu Heng's salary has increased. His attitude is also a 180 degree turn. Before, there were seven who were dissatisfied with eight who were dissatisfied. Now, I am grateful to Gu Heng. During Gu Heng's vacation, he had already started preparing for the subsequent work. He still remembers that Yang Mi said she wanted to find a script and invest in making TV dramas herself. In this time and space, the adaptation of online novels into film and television dramas has just begun to heat up. The copyright for film and television is still in the hands of the author. For Gu Heng, there is considerable room for development. His first task to complete is, Three Lives, Three Generations, Ten Miles of Peach Blossoms. After all, the character by Qian is like being tailored for Yang Mi. He believes that in this time and space, three lives, three lives, ten miles of peach blossoms, can also bring Yang Mi a career peak. Gu Heng's search found that the popularity of three lives, three generations, ten miles of peach blossoms has already been very high. Especially the call for film and television is getting higher and higher. It seems that if you don't take action again, someone will take the lead. So, before the vacation ended, Gu Heng headed straight to the company, targeting Yang Mi's office. Dong 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 enter. Yang Mi's sweet and creamy voice came from inside the door. Seeing Gu Heng push open the door, Yang Mi was somewhat surprised. Why did you come? Aren't you? Gu Heng didn't wait for Yang Mi to finish speaking, so he went straight to the topic. Honey, didn't you say you wanted to invest in your own drama? In the past two years, the film and television adaptation of online literature has begun to emerge, with Do Pa Tsang Chi 
and Wu Dong Qian Kuen being good examples. I think instead of looking for scripts, it's better to take advantage of the low copyright prices and buy a few novels and find someone to adapt them on your own. Gu Heng's words touched Yang Mi's heart. She has also been researching this issue recently. I just didn't expect that Gu Heng could see this step. What do you have in mind? Tell me more about it. Gu Heng caught it, and as he spoke, Yang Mi's eyes lit up. Then I'll be straightforward. Miss me, I think you're missing a drama with a big female lead. If you believe me, take a look at this one. Speaking, Gu Heng opened Three Lives and Three Generations on the tablet and handed it directly to Yang Mi. Then, he continued. If this novel is adapted into a TV drama, it will definitely go viral. Honey, this can definitely become another peak of your entertainment career. Gu Heng's words were also half believed and half doubted by Yang Mi. He is a novice young man. I haven't graduated from college yet. I have watched several TV dramas but I don't know. Are you here to talk to me about the pinnacle of your entertainment career? It seems that the previous few things went too smoothly, and the child drifted away. Gu Heng, having momentum is good. But I suggest you walk more steadily. I admit that you did a great job in the first few things. But you also have to admit that there is some luck involved. I hope you don't become too confident because of the smooth progress ahead. Hmm. Am I too confident? Is this questioning my judgment? Thank you, Mississippi. But don't rush to deny me either. You can flip through it first, and I'm still very sure that you'll be interested in it before you see the payment. After speaking, Gu Heng left Yang Mi's office. Yang Mi flipped through the tablet in her hand. When Yang Mi looked up again, it was already past lunchtime. This kid really has some vision. But what I said just now. Okay, I have to find a step for myself. Yang Mi thought and sighed. At this moment, the office door was knocked on again. The person who came is Gu Heng. Honey, How's it going? Is the novel good? Look at Gu Hang's proud expression on his face. Yang Mi pretended to be calm and replied, It's okay. Ku Gu Hang had already figured it out. Honey, don't be stubborn. In order to maintain your figure, your diet is the most regular. Speaking, Gu Hang raised his hand and tapped his watch with his fingers. It's already a little over dinner, are you addicted to watching it? This kid, why are you such a chicken thief? Yang Mi gave Gu Heng a displeased glance. Yes, yes. I admit, you have vision. Seeing Yang Mi admit defeat, Gu Heng laughed so hard that the corners of his mouth were almost on the tip of his ear. Don't laugh foolishly there, try contacting the author. Come and discuss copyright issues with us. Before Gu Heng could reply, Yang Mi changed her tone. Forget it, I'll go by myself. I just flipped through the comments, and the call for film and television is too high. I will discuss it myself to avoid being intercepted. Can you help me check the author's information? Gu Heng handed over his phone directly. I've already prepared it for you. Yang Mi looked at Gu Heng with an air of anticipation. Although somewhat dissatisfied, there is nothing to do. Yang Mi picked up her phone and dialed the phone directly. Hello, is this Ms. Tang? I'm Yang Mi. On the other end of the phone. Who are you? I'm still hot. I'm in a hurry and don't have time to play with you. Pop. The phone was hung up. Is my voice not distinctive enough? Where am I like a scammer? I. Yang Mi said and threw the pen in her hand onto her desk. Don't worry, Yang Mi's crumpled appearance is quite cute. Honey, why don't I contact the online platform and see if I can find the author's address? Let's go straight to the door. Seeing your face, you wouldn't still think I'm a scammer, would you? That's the truth. A good script doesn't wait for anyone. If someone else buys it first, it's too late to regret it. Then you go ahead and handle it first. 
If you have any difficulties, just ask Qin Jie for help. Gu Heng also didn't delay for a moment. After leaving Yang Mi's office, I started working on it. The previous author's phone number was obtained from the platform under the banner of Yang Mi Assistant. But this address has indeed not been registered. Gu Heng was eloquent and asked for the contact information of the editor in chief. Gu Heng directly explained his purpose and asked the editor to help inquire about his address. The editor in chief happens to be a fan of Yang Mi. When reading novels, I always think about how exciting it would be if Yang Mi were to play by Qian. So, I quickly agreed. However, the editor also mentioned that Tang Chi's response to messages is relatively slow. It seems that there is something else going on at her home these days, and it seems that she needs to wait. Gu Heng reported the progress of the entire matter to Yang Mi and then finished work. It's rare for Gu Heng to leave work early. After returning home, he went to the vegetable market. As soon as he left the market, he felt trapped. He wants to take a few quick steps to get rid of the person. Unfortunately, the other party is following too closely. Since you can't shake it off, then ask me clearly face dot to dot face. What are you doing with me in broad daylight? Chapter 9 Is all about copyright grabbing. You are listening at novel full dot audio. But just as Gu Heng turned around, he realized that it was a cat following him. A plump stuffed cat. The hair is clean and shiny, with a square shaped face and a mole on the nose. This cat doesn't look like a stray cat no matter what. It stood there, wagging its tail at Gu Heng. Such a clean and wealthy cat is definitely not a stray cat. It looks like it's lost. Leave it outside, not to be abducted, and also to be bullied by stray cats. I can't bear to think about it. Gu Heng decided to take it home first and then help it find its owner. Early the next morning. Gu Heng just opened his eyes. I received the address of Tang Chi's house from the editor. I didn't dare to delay for a moment. Go to Yang Mi's house to pick her up, and the two of them set off directly. Thirty minutes later. Yang Mi and Gu Heng arrived downstairs at Tang Chi's house. Give me the house number, I'll go up by myself. You big and small, it's not that convenient to go to the girl's house. Gu Heng thought about it and left it in the car. Yang Mi just stepped in. Gu Heng saw a familiar figure coming out of that building. If you're not mistaken, this person is Zheng Jiao. After capturing Li Xiaofeng last time, Chen Jie sent a compressed package to Gu Heng. There are either enemies or enemies inside. Chen Jie asked him to remember these people well. If he bumped into them one day, they might come in handy. At that time, Gu Heng still didn't think so. The imperial capital is so large and there are so many people, the probability of encountering the right family when going out is comparable to winning a lottery. However, encountering it here should not be accidental. Perhaps. She won't be here to intercept whose three lives and three generations, will she? At this moment, Gu Heng saw Yang Mi also coming out of the building. Did you come out so quickly? Shouldn't Zheng Jia really talk about it? Gu Heng saw that Yang Mi's air pressure was a bit low and asked cautiously. Didn't we reach an agreement? It's not that we didn't succeed, it's that we didn't talk. Upon hearing this, Gu Heng was unable to reach an agreement and immediately adjusted to a combat state. No discussion. Can't it really be taken away by Zheng Jiao? Honey, let me tell you, we must definitely get this back. Yang Mi looked at Gu Heng with a question mark on her face. Stop. 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 What are you saying? What is the relationship with Zheng Jiao? They never let me in at all. It said that the child has been lost for three days and just reported to the police this morning. I'm not in the mood to talk about this now. Gu Heng finally breathed a sigh of relief. That's good, that's good. After speaking, Gu Heng also realized that there was something wrong with what he said. I'm not saying they lost their child, okay. Just now, 
as soon as you entered, I saw Zheng Jia come out of that building. When I think about it, encountering it here, I'm afraid it's not just a coincidence, and I'm also worried that she might snatch the copyright. If someone is not in the mood to talk, then I can rest assured. Honey, I'll take you back to the company first, and then I'll come back and keep an eye on you. What if I can be of any help? Yang Mi thought so too. Even if you can't help, it's better to get familiar with your face first. There was no refusal. On the way back to the company, Yang Mi asked someone to inquire. I just realized that she and Zheng Jia are not the only ones who have been watching Three Lives, Three Lives, Ten Miles of Peach Blossoms recently. Sugar Man, Huan Rui, Weiss at least seven or eight companies have had contact with Tang Chi. It is said to be a rather difficult person to handle. The requirements for film and television adaptation are particularly high, and there is no compromise at all. I don't care about money at all. So far, none of these companies have reached an agreement. It's another difficult bone to gnaw on. Coincidentally, let this kid run into the south wall, or else you'll really think you're talented. Yang Mi was calculating in her heart. One hour later. Gu Heng returned to the downstairs of Tang Chi's house. This time, he didn't rush upstairs, but observed downstairs for a while. He found the fruit shop downstairs, which was a gathering place for aunties. Gu Heng knows a truth. Nothing in the community can escape the eyes of his mother. How can such resources be wasted? Gu Heng parked the car and headed straight for the fruit shop. At first, I just pretended to buy fruits and took the opportunity to listen to the aunties chatting. Oh my, young man, that's not how peaches were chosen. Peach, you need to find the kind that protrudes from the top, that's the sweetest. Gu Heng saw that the opportunity had arrived. Oh, thank you auntie. I'm the last to choose fruits. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be able to do it. Auntie, you are really kind. Speaking, Gu Heng glanced at Ant. Pretending to be surprised, he said, Your appearance is also too good. It looks like a lucky person. A spouse dotes on it, children are filial, and grandchildren are worry-free, right? In just a few words, it made Auntie so happy. Young man, you're not from our community, are you? I think you look unfamiliar. Auntie, you have great eyesight. I came to see my friends. It wasn't until I walked downstairs that I realized I couldn't go up empty-handed. Why don't I come over and buy some fruit? Nowadays, there are not many young people like you who are polite. Which building does your friend live in? Just upstairs, seventh floor. The seventh floor. Xiao Tang. Auntie, you're amazing. How did you tell? Do you know all the people in this building? Ha ha ha. Young man, you don't know, there have been a lot of people looking for her recently. Upon hearing this, Gu Heng really found the right person. Really? When did Xiao Tang have so many friends? Gu Heng is not very certain about this statement, but based on his previous request for a phone number and communication with the editor, it can be inferred that Tang Chi is not very sociable. I don't think I'm a friend. When I went to her house, I quickly came out and my face wasn't very good either. Don't even have a good complexion. Then I can rest assured. It seems that no one has reached an agreement yet. But Tang Chi may not be easy to handle. Oh, auntie, do you know what kind of fruit she and her family often buy? Let me not buy the wrong fruit again. If someone doesn't eat it and feels embarrassed not to accept it, isn't that a waste? Family members. I think she just lives alone. However, I haven't seen her come to a fruit shop before. Don't you young people like to buy online? Living alone. Didn't it mean the child was lost? How could it be living alone? Not right. If I were single and had a child, it would be big news in the community, and it's impossible for my mom not to know. Shouldn't it be an excuse to send these people away? Either it's this child, something else. Since I said it's a friend, 
it's not easy to ask too many more questions. Gu Heng casually packed two bags of fruits and left the fruit shop. Are you bothering me? It's all said that the child has been lost and I'm not in the mood to talk. Come back. Tang Chi opened the door and saw Gu Heng's handsome face, which instantly dissipated her temper. Hello Ms. Tang, I am Yang Mi's assistant. She has been thinking about your child since she left you this morning. Instruct me to come and see if there is anything I can do to help. When she thought about it, she thought you must be very anxious. She was afraid that you might not be able to eat or sleep well these past few days, so she specially selected some fruits for me to bring over. They say they don't hit smiling faces when reaching out. Not to mention Gu Heng, who is so handsome and polite. Did I bump into chapter 10 again? You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Tang Chi also lost her temper and opened the door to invite Gu Heng into the room. After Gu Heng entered the door, he looked around. The house is clean and tidy, with not much to eat. If I'm not mistaken, Tang Chi is indeed living alone, as Aunt Downstairs said. But Tang Chi's sadness on her face didn't seem to be a pretense. What's going on with this child? Ms. Tang, could you please tell me about the child situation? So many people who come to talk to Tang Chi about cooperation are basically going straight to the topic. I found that the cooperation couldn't be discussed, so I withdrew. Gu Heng is still the first to care about children. The day before yesterday afternoon, I went out to apply for documents and found something missing halfway through. I hurriedly came back to look for it. Maybe the child ran out without closing the door while searching for something. I was in a hurry and didn't pay attention. When I finished my work and came back, I realized that the child was missing. He usually just walks around upstairs and downstairs, but this time I searched the whole building and didn't even see a trace. Speaking, Tang Chi started crying again. Gu Heng asked with concern as he handed over a tissue. Did you search in the community? Did you check the surveillance footage? Tang Chi wiped her tears and replied. Yesterday I went to check the surveillance footage and found out that he had left the community. That's why I called the police. What did the police say? The police said they would do their best to help me find it, but they didn't take it seriously. Based on the current situation, it's very likely that I won't be able to find it back. Speaking, Tang Chi burst into tears again. However, when it comes to this, Gu Heng is basically certain that the Sodot called child may not be a real child. If the child is lost, at least the attitude of the police should not be like this. The 72-hour lost gold for the child should have been fully searched and rescued. How could it not be taken seriously? Gu Heng first calmed Tang Chi's emotions. After Tang Chi calmed down a bit, he continued to ask. Ms. Tang, do you have a photo of the child? I know you have already called the police, but if possible, I would like to ask Miss Me to post a missing person notice on Weibo. With so many fans, if we could mobilize some people to help us find it together, the hope of finding it would still be greater. Tang Chi heard Gu Heng's words as if she had encountered a savior. Immediately pick up the phone and search for it. Look, it's him. It would be great if you could ask Yang Mi to help me with my Weibo. Originally, the child Tang Chi mentioned was a cat. This is reasonable. Just, this cat seems a bit familiar. Flip through the photos one by one. When he saw the mole on the cat's nose. I suddenly felt a chill on my back. Is this. Impossible. Is this the cat in my house? I'm numb. Perhaps Tang Chi was too sad to notice the surprise in Gu Heng's eyes. Gu Heng flipped through a few more and felt that it was really similar to the one he found yesterday. Gu Heng cannot be 100% certain that Tang Chi lost the cat at his house. Tang Chi still needs to go and see it herself. It can be said directly that this cat is at his house, Tang Chi is afraid he won't believe it. Maybe I still think he's just a scammer. Not to mention that the cat is at his house, 
just take Tang Chi out and she won't be able to leave with her so easily. Gu Heng even regretted not taking a photo of the cat yesterday. Otherwise, I'll show it directly to Tang Chi, and this problem will be solved, won't it? When Gu Hein was worrying, suddenly remembered the visible doorbell at my doorstep. Gu Hein opened his phone and flipped through the surveillance records from the previous day. He really found it. When I opened the door, I hesitated for a while because I was holding the cat and my movements were not very sharp. Just don't record it in the changes at the door section. I also want to thank Mr. Yang for his wealth and generosity. The camera for this doorbell is 4K high dot definition. Ms. Tang, I think there may not be a need for a thin hair. What does he mean? What does it mean you don't need to thin hair anymore? Don't want to help me find it. Are you like those police officers who don't want to help me find a cat when they see it? I knew you wouldn't understand. Tang Chi's tone was filled with disappointment and disappointment, and tears welled up in her eyes. You misunderstood me. I can't help you find it, you see. Speaking, Gu Heng handed the phone to Tang Chi. Tang Chi's eyes widened instantly. This. This is my humble home. He. Is it you holding him? What situation is this? Tang Chi looked at Gu Heng with an incredulous expression on her face. You may not believe it, but I haven't been able to fully digest it myself. I found a cat at the nearby market yesterday, but I didn't expect it to be your cat either. Is it so coincidental? If it weren't for Tang Chi being under surveillance and seeing Qian Qian walking out of the community. Perhaps one might think that this cat was intentionally stolen by Gu Heng. Seeing Tang Chi staring there, Gu Heng asked. Ms. Tang, why don't we go pick up Qian Qian now? Tang Chi was both happy and shocked and nodded desperately in excitement. On the way, the more Gu Heng walked forward, the more Tang Chi felt unbelievable. I live in Wang Jing, which is clearly heading towards the second ring road. How did the cat from my house, which has hardly ever left the house, come over by itself? Where did you find the shallow one? Near my house. Where is your home? I live near the International Trade Center, and this child really runs far enough. Anyone who listens to this will find it unbelievable. Half an hour later. The two of them arrived at Gu Heng's doorstep. The moment Gu Heng opened his door. The plump puppet cat ran over with a jolt. Tang Chi hugged it tightly. Shallow, you scared me to death. Excitement, surprise, and recovery under the impact of various emotions, Tang Chi started crying while holding the cat. Gu Heng knew that he didn't need to say anything at this moment, just keep silent. Why did you run so far? Let mom see if she's injured. Mom is so worried. Did you miss your mother? Mom, see if you're losing weight. Have you eaten well these past few days? Have you slept well? Speaking of this, Tang Chi finally remembered that Gu Heng was still standing beside him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Speaking, Tang Chi tightly hugged her cat again. The joy of regaining something lost is beyond words. But this is just outrageous. It's a cat that ran over 10 kilometers to track Gu Heng. Coincidentally, it's Tang Chi's cat. It has to be said that you, as a cat, know how to act as a matchmaker. Since these links have already been built, we cannot waste this resource. Gu Heng spoke up and replied. You're too polite, I just didn't expect it to be your cat. The day before yesterday afternoon, I came out of the market and it has been following me ever since. I didn't think it looked like a stray cat, so I guessed who lost it. I was afraid that it would be bullied by stray cats outside, so I brought it back first. I didn't expect this to be your cat. 